All right, love. All right, love. I'm in the mood for something special. Well, something special is what we have. Michelle! What's your name? They call me Callie. Callie? Mm. It's your first time here then, Callie? Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm a firm believer in the... Oh, the medicinal benefits of regular massage. Is that right? Yeah, I see myself as an apostle, you know? What's your name, love? Michelle. Michelle? Mm -hmm. mm. Exotic. That's me. So you're off work today then? Yeah. Yeah, I work nights mostly. Yeah? Doing what? Oh. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm a chef. A cook? No, my dear. A chef. My speciality is seafood. Yeah? Well, where do you work then? Well, I'm opening a new place in town next month. The Humboldt Crustacean and I are partners in a bone. Oh, yes, yes. Mm, that's nice. Okay, you can turn around then. That was the basic stress relief massage. Oh. But we do offer a supplementary course of therapeutic manipulation. My God, it's a brothel. Let's go. Frank, how'd it go? Oh, no problem. There, uh, I've just done my statement. Paul is going to get the warrants, and Callie's going to organise the raid. Good, good, well done. Uh, it's bollocks, I know, but it had to be done. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about what I said before. I didn't mean it. I had. Hill on me back, you know. Okay. By the way, what was that bastard Tom Cheshire doing over there? He's up for a job. No. Yeah, I get it as well. He did a good interview. Bollocks. What job's that then? Your boss. What? Yeah, well, we need a permanent yes, you know. Joe's only acting. <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no, he's right. There's nothing I can do about it. You just better watch your step. If you get a move on, you can do the raid this shift. Another classic operation coming up. What's going on? Well, Tony, your premises are being used for immoral purposes. No. And you, Tony, are living off immoral earnings. Again. This is a bona fide establishment. Really? Well, we have statements from three undercover officers saying they were offered sexual services on your premises. No. How could they do this to me? I gave those girls a break. A career in aromatherapy massage, and this is how they repay me. So what, so you're saying you knew nothing about this? As God is my witness. Better call your lawyer, Tony. So bastard. Well, if that's his story, we're going to have to get one of the girls to come. Yeah, let's just wait and see what they say when they hear how loyally Tony sat by. Hi, I'm D.S. McMullen. This is D.C. DePauli. We're from Bridewell. Listen, I know the score. You can't charge us unless we've had two previous cautions, which none of us have. So you've got to let us go. Oh, that's right. We don't want to charge you anyway. We want Tony. So we'd like one of you to make a short statement saying that Tony hired you to do the punters, yeah? And why should we? 
Well, for a start, Tony saying that you organised all the shagging and he knew nothing about it. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't he? Think about it, Mandy. We're city centre vice. We do you a favour and you might need that one day, eh? Oh, yeah. We're not saying anything. We want to go home and you can't stop us. I'll make a statement. Michelle, Tony will kill you. But what he said, that's not right. I want them to know the truth. Oh, boy. This was a shit sniffer I just saw heading for the cells. Yeah, yeah, Frank and Callie are with him. Of course he's denying it all, but one of the girls is making a statement. Joe's taking it now. Shoe sniffer finally bites the dust, eh? Excellent. Listen, Howard, you know I've got that, uh, that meet tonight, you know, the business with them. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, you go ahead. I'll cover for you if anything comes up. Joe, what's up? You better come down. I had sex with Frank White this afternoon, and I want that on the record because it's not right. I mean, you want to bust us, fine, bust us, but don't go playing at both ends, do you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And okay, away from the massage parlour, I'll take the consequences. But he's a busy, and it's not right, do you know what I mean? How do you know it was Frank White? I didn't at first. He said his name was Callie, and that threw me. And last time I seen him, he never had his little beard, and his hair was all short and slick back, and he was thinner then too. He looked pretty different. I was on top of the bastard before I recognised him. So it's possible you're not actually positive it was him? No, I am. I was at school with Georgie, his daughter. She's a friend of mine. It's not right, you know. Stupid, stupid bastard. He'll be gone this time, Ernie. Get Frank up to my office now. Lie. Why would she do that? How should I know? Uh, she's a pal of Georgie. She wants to screw me up. How should I know? What does it matter? It matters to me. You want mine and the gun be all hell to pick for this when Hill gets in tomorrow morning and hears about this, he lit the bloody room. Yeah, but it's her word against mine. Well, what are they going to investigate? There's no proof. Howard, Howard, she's lying. She's trying to screw me up. It's not as if you haven't got enough people out to get you. Oh, oh, so you're going to take the word of some slapper against mine? Well, it's not exactly out of character, is it? I didn't do it. Well, I'm innocent. Hill's been out to get us for months, you know that. You know it. She's lying. How could you be so bloody stupid? I didn't know it. You must be lying. What the fuck were you You let me down. You've let us all down. And this time, I bad it. You're on your own. I'll tell you. If they try and get me on this one, I'm packing it in. I'm not going back to uniform, and I am not going to see my time out on some desk for a pension. I'm gone. Let's go for a drink. Thanks for coming tonight. I didn't feel like going out. Where's your wife? She's left me. Taking the kids back to her mother's. Didn't Callie mention that? No. I'm sorry. Me too.
Is she going to let you see the kids? I'm not going to live to see John and Sarah grow up. That's a fact. I'm not complaining. A career like mine. You make enemies. You expect a knock at the door one night. The time I've got left with them, though, nobody's going to take that away from me. I'm going for custody. And do you think you stand a chance? What, with a reputation like mine, you mean? That is what I mean, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to pay some bastard off, that's for sure. I saw her today. Your wife. Yeah. Callie's been looking after her. She still loves him, you know. Deep down. Always has. In retrospect, I think I made a mistake stealing her off him. Sometimes she'd get angry. She'd say, you never loved me. You only wanted me because I was going out with Callie. Sometimes wonder how true that is. You've never been here before, have you? You want to talk? No. Come on, then. Do you know how much vulgarity like this costs? I know what paid for it. I'm a businessman. An importer. As it happens, I've imported heroin and cocaine. But they're just commodities. It all used to be legal. And in time, I have no doubt it'll all be legal again. It's just a question of perspective, that's all. I work the estates. I've got a different perspective. What you see on the estates, and I know what I'm talking about, is poverty and despair and a lack of opportunity. That's the problem. Everything else is just a symptom. Well, that's OK, then. And this is the master bedroom. I don't believe it. Bastard handle's gone again. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, there. A couple of right bastards, those two. Snuck out of Dublin one night in 1922 with a lot of money in the suitcases. We don't know the full details. But the British Army of Occupation weren't so happy about it, and neither were the IRA. Set up here as bookies in 1925, and the rest is history. The one on the left, my granddad. The one on the right, Callie's. Aha. Is this where they all end up? 